there welcome back to the channel today we're gonna go do some charity shop thrifting we'll see if we can get some good stuff we're currently in Romsey don't forget if you like these kind of videos smash that subscribe button down the bottom give the channel a like give it a comment all that good stuff and let's get out there this unfortunately is about as exciting as this shop gets overpriced cameras Nice pick up, some corduroy Gant jeans, paid £5.99 for them, I've already sold them for £19 on Vinted. Could feel the quality of these before I even saw the brand, but Orvis, I'm always going to be picking all this stuff up. Um, I said the other week that they were a British band, but apparently they're an American brand, so what do I know? But a uh, big waist, waist 42, leg 34, something like that. Uh, the price did just come up, I can't remember what it was, like 5 99 6 99 But um, it should hopefully get around about 25 to 30 pound mark for them. While I was looking at other stuff, this uh, bag caught my eye, and it's a uh, a rucksack that basically looks like a PlayStation One. Uh, it's ten pound. I couldn't actually find a date on it at the time, and upon looking inside, it, it's got a um, a website, so it's probably not that old, but it's really cool. Paid a tenner for it. Not really too sure what it's worth. Kind of hoping it might be worth about thirty odd pound, but even if it's not, I might just keep it. Now this ski jacket is made by Trespass. Now I wouldn't normally pick up Trespass stuff. Um, it's a high street brand, isn't it? I can't remember what retailer sells it, but um, they do all right stuff. But for what it is, normally I wouldn't pick it up. But this was quite old and it's like a ski jacket. So it's, it's tons of pockets, it's lined, hooded, the works. Um, it's like eight ninety nine, 99 I think. And, I've got it out for £40 and I think it'll go for that. Don't very often find these in charity shops and a lot of people overlook them, but Levi's do their own sort of like chinos, like most brands do to be fair. But uh, they actually sell quite all right. And these ones again are quite a larger size, uh, 36 I think. And the, I think the legs are about the same length, crazy long legs. But um, yeah, they were only like £3.50. So I was definitely picking them up, especially since this shop is a little bit weird on its pricing. Like the jackets and stuff above me were, some of them were just really weirdly overpriced. So I was quite surprised to find this in a charity shop, uh, especially since this lady next to me was rooting through like she was some kind of reseller, and she might not have been. But yeah, it's a Versace shirt. It's the, uh, the, the Courtois, Courtois jeans or whatever it is, so it's not one of the the higher end uh, Versace shirts, but you're still looking at probably between 30 and 40 pound for a six pound shirt. You all right? Can I get a bag as well, please? Random question. Do you know if that vase, the green one, is uranium? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless you got a UV light, no. <laughs> That's why I was asking. Have you picked it up and had a look? Uh, it probably won't tell you if it is. Have we got a U we've got UV light upstairs. Would we know that's uranium? No, I don't think so. No. Mine's no. got one, so I can let you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look uranium, no. but I know sometimes uranium glass yeah, has a slight tint to it. She's, she's yeah. the one that's more stuff. She's got a thing which hasn't been in for a while, but she's due in at the end of the week. If you want to come in with your own UV light, then yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. I should have done, really. I always think to myself, do I should bring one? it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah do, I've got yeah. one, yeah. It's 8.50 for that one. Thank you. Got 
used usually like uranium is, is like frosted but right. i've recently found that uranium can be clear yeah. as well This is a very common thing that happens in charity shops. You're going through the men's section and you find a pair of Levi's and their women's Levi's. Uh, these ones were a big E, but this is a Salvation Army that's usually quite priced up and they were priced up at about 20 pound, I think. Uh, but what I've decided to do was I was going to, without sounding big headed, <laughs> cause I'm not, um, I was going to educate them in an, how you can identify women's Levi's to men's Levi's because not only will they not sell for £20 in this charity shop but they definitely won't sell for £20 in the men's section. This next one was a nice find, a nice Aquascutum shirt, not this one, the one there that's got the check pattern on it. Uh, it's called House Check I believe if you uh, ever are looking for it. Um, it's kind of like the Burberry Nova check, basically. Um, it's quite a collectible style if you find Aquascoot and stuff in their house check. So it's definitely worth picking it up if you see it, especially if it's reasonably priced. Um, the shirts can fetch anywhere up to about £100. The one that I just picked up there is actually quite short, so it's probably going to linger a little bit. Um, but I still put it up for £60, and I still think I'll achieve between 50 and 60 And surprisingly when i went to the till to pay for it the lady said to me oh hold on a minute i'll um i just need to go out back and she went out back come back and she went this is meant to be in the sale route it's only a pound so you know a pound for a house check aqua scootum shirt i was never saying no to that i was willing to pay the six pound price it had initially anyway Okay, again, a brand that I don't very often pick up is Fat Face. I know some of their stuff sells all right. Uh, this is an example of stuff that does sell all right with their brand. So this was a Fat Face jacket. Uh, it was like a wax cotton. Uh, it, it didn't say wax cotton inside. It said cotton, but it had that wax cotton feel. Um, it was, I think, £8.99, something like that, or £9.99. I can't quite remember. But I was adamant that I'd probably be able to get about £30 for it. And when I got home, I listed it. And yeah, it sold the same day for £29.99 well, with the postage. So I think this was the last pickup of the day. I can't remember. But um, it's a diesel chore jacket. Uh, I think it was it was marked up at about fifteen pounds, so it was quite expensive. Uh, this is Marie Curie. Usually, are a relatively expensive charity shop around by me. They've they've got a few branches, but they're not like a mass one. But they usually do have some quite cool stuff in them. So usually, I'm quite happy to pay up a little bit. As I say, this was a diesel chore jacket. I believe it's quite vintage, um, and I've I've got it up for. 60 pound i think and i reckon it'll get around about the 50 to 60 pound mark because chore jackets are quite fashionable at the moment it's not really the best time of the year for them at the moment because they're a, a thinner jacket they're probably a better springtime jacket rather than a winter jacket but i don't mind it being on the store and waiting for someone people will still buy stuff now for springtime so it'll still sell <laughs> it was either that or tap you on the shoulder. <laughs> okay, so we've been out and we've got a few good things. It was an all right journey. There was some okay-ish stuff, nothing amazing. But um, yeah, still plenty of profit to be made. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Don't forget to keep an eye out for Fridays for my reseller live show. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I think the next reseller might be Joe from Closet Geek. Um, depends when I get this video out. But yeah, 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, why not check out this one here? Because you might like this one too.